Hello designers, this is Angie from Raveners Design Academy. Welcome back if you're subscribed and welcome here if you're new. This is my form of retail therapy. I love finding cool 3D assets to use for my future projects. Oh, cool couch. Too bad it's available in formats I can't use though. Oh, cool, a Raven 600. <laughs> but have you ever had those moments where you browse a 3D asset website and find that they don't have any formats that you can use in SketchUp without having to convert them with apps or SketchUp extensions that you don't own? Or just end up downloading the objects only to find out that these apps or extensions that you need cost money. In some cases, a lot of money. I mean, who pays a year's subscription upfront for a plugin? Not freelancers, that's for sure. Well, if that's the case, boy, do I have a video for you today. Stick around to find out how to convert almost all the assets you need into formats that you can use with SketchUp. Now let's start converting some meshes, shall we? As always, let's get acquainted with what we're working with here. I downloaded three objects from two different websites. The IKEA Daybed over here comes in an FBX format and a Max format. Next, we have this gorgeous leather couch with a blanket. It comes in both a Max format and an OBJ format. Our third object is a couple of Viennese chairs. They come in an FBX format and a Max format as well. None of these objects are compatible for direct import into SketchUp, even though SketchUp supports a variety of other formats. What we'll be doing today is convert these objects into formats that are easy to import into SketchUp using a couple of free resources that are very easy to use. Our first method of conversion is an offline Windows tool called Spin 3D Mesh Converter by NCH Software. The only drawback is that it only works on a Windows OS and doesn't convert Max files. It doesn't require much technical knowledge, you just need to know how to read, literally. As you can see here, the application has a very simple interface and all you need to do is drag and drop the file you want to convert. You can use the preview window to rotate your object around by clicking and dragging with your mouse. Of course, spin has to be awesome and enable you to convert a full folder of objects. There is also the remove button. This removes files from the queue. You can also burn the converted meshes or assets directly onto a CD. You can modify the mesh with Mesh Magic, which is a free 3D modeling software by NCH. But what is SketchUp doing then? The output formats are a bit limited here, but 3DS is supported by SketchUp, so we're all good. If you want to get a bit technical, you can explore the effects window. But I'm a simple human with simple needs. I just want to convert this because I have deadlines. You can learn more about these options and what they do if you click the help button. Now the converter has the location of the output file set by default to the same as source. So let's convert. It literally only takes a few seconds to convert a mesh file this small and here's our output. Now let's import that into SketchUp. In SketchUp, just go to file and click import. Browse for the converted mesh and, or asset, and in the import window, there is a small options button. This basically asks you about merging co-planner faces and what units do you want to import your asset in for scale purposes. Of course, I have no idea what unit the object was modeled in, so I'll leave everything as it is. Once SketchUp is done importing, just click on the axis origin to place your object. Now comes the part where you fix up the object a bit and scale it to your desired size.
There we go, all done. This daybed is ready to be added to my SketchUp library. For the sake of showing you how simple this process is, I'll convert the leather couch using the same app, but this time it's an OBJ format. The couch was tricky to scale, I'm guessing because it was modeled using inches, but I still managed to get it to look realistic in size. Our last asset, the Viennese chairs file, is saved for the second method of converting 3D objects. A website called AnyConv File Converter. What they do is literally convert any file format into multiple other formats. Files like images, documents, ebooks, archives, fonts, and yes, CAD and MeSH files. Bookmark this website because it can help you in more than one way. You can check for supported formats on their site by browsing the file formats page and pressing Ctrl F on your keyboard to find a specific file extension in this gigantic list via your browser's search. To convert a file, just drag and drop it on the main page. It's that simple. The file will be uploaded, converted, and then you'll have the ability to re-download the final product. Now, one thing that I noticed is that when converting a max file, you only get three output options, but it doesn't concern me much since OBJ is a format that's compatible with Spin and that will turn into 3DS, which is compatible with SketchUp anyways. It's a little bit of a workaround. A few moments later. I converted the file. It took longer than Spin Mesh Converter did, mainly because you have to upload the object, wait for it to convert, and then re-download it, and I had to re-convert it in Spin Mesh Converter. If I ever have a bad internet day, that would be a mess. As you can see, like all the other converted meshes and assets, these two chairs here are a bit of a mess. They were way off the axis origin, and they looked like they were involved in a fight. So after quite a bit of work, I managed to make them look whole again. I even textured them and used them in my last video along with the leather couch. I don't record videos in order by the way, so here's that. The IKEA daybed, however, was used in a project that my patrons on Patreon know about. I'll include it in one of my future videos soon, inshallah. That's it for today's video on how you can convert almost all 3D assets and make them SketchUp compatible. If you have any other recommendations on free mesh converters, you can, of course, drop them in the comments below so everyone can benefit. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching, guys. Stay safe and always remember, let your creativity lead the way. Till next time.